In this lesson, I'm going to show that patterns of association can be seen by displaying frequencies and relative frequencies on tables. I'm going to use the same data, but I'm going to present it as a frequency and as a relative frequency. If we surveyed a total of 20 men and we asked them on Saturdays if they had leisure time, what would they be doing? It broke down this way. Five said they would be walking for leisure, ten said they'd be playing sports, five said they'd be on the computer for a total of 20 men. There were 30 women surveyed. Fifteen said they would, they would walk for leisure, five said they would do sports, and ten said they would be on the computer for a total of 30 women. If you add these numbers up, you get 20 people would be walking, 15 playing sports, 15 on the computer for a total of 50 people. Now let's say we wanted to use this as a relative frequency, like how many out of 50 would be doing these activities. Well, 5 out of 50 is 10%. 10 out of 50 is 20%. 5 out of 50, once again, is 10%. So this is, and men are 40% of the survey, 20 out of 50 people. The women, they were 60% of the people, 30 out of 50 people. 15 of the women were walking. 15 out of 30 is 30%. 5 out of 50 is 10%. 10 out of 50 is 20%. When we add these columns up, 40% of the people were walking for leisure, 30% were doing sports for leisure, and 30% were on the computer for leisure. If you add them up this way, you get 100% of the people. Relative frequency is the amount out of the total. The frequency is just the raw numbers. There were five men walking. I hope, you, I hope this gave you a better understanding of frequency tables and relative frequency tables.